This video is the ultimate FPS boosting guide for 5M in 2024. In this video, I'm going to show you how to optimize your 5M for FPS, low input delay and a much smoother experience. So I'm going to try my best to help you so you finally can get rid of those annoying stutters and also simply just enjoy 5M again. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. So starting with the first optimization, we're going to press Windows plus R and type in app data. Here you're going to press on local and then 5M application data. And then you're going to go into data and delete everything within the folder called cache. This cleans your 5M cache and if you haven't done this in a while, this can greatly improve your performance in 5M. Next up, we're going to tell Windows that we want to prioritize 5M when we're gaming. So to do this, open your settings, go into the gaming tab and go into game mode, then navigate over to the graphics tab. And in here, you're going to see a bunch of applications already. You're simply going to press browse and type in percentage local app data percentage. And then you're going to open 5M and choose your 5M. And here, you're simply going to change it from let Windows decide to high performance. And once done, you should be good to go. Normally, in this time of the video, I would usually go in-game and change some in-game settings. But in this video, I don't want to play with in-game settings at all. I simply want to optimize Windows and see how much performance I can gain from just optimizing. Which brings us on to the next step in this tutorial, Hone. Hone is a free to use PC optimization tool which will optimize your system fully by just a few clicks, saving us all some time. With Hone, you don't need to go and find advanced registry tweaks. You simply find the optimization you'd like and enable it with just one click making it very user friendly so to get your hands on hone you can download it from the official website www.hone.gg if you don't know how to install the application you can simply watch one of our installation tutorials but once you've installed the application you'll be met with this screen and in here you can already see we get recommended the ton of optimizations from the beginning and you can see we're also at zero percent optimized so this basically means we haven't enabled a single optimization yet so let's go to the optimization tab and take a look and as you can see there's a lot of options and you can choose from a to c but before you enable an optimization always make sure to read the description and be aware of the disclaimers but for the sake of the video i'm gonna give you some optimizations i think you should enable we're gonna start off by enabling the general windows optimization as a first and as you can see this optimization gives us 2.9 percent in optimizations this optimization just gives you overall tweaks for windows to make it run better smoother and more responsive so this is a good overall next on the list we have optimized windows power plan and as you can see this optimization is marked with a disclaimer called power hungry which basically means that by enabling this optimization your system will consume more power so we recommend not enabling this if you're on a laptop however if you're on a desktop you can enable this without thinking this basically gives you a power plan which is custom created by home for the best possible performance in 2024 now let's scroll down until we find disable windows game bar this optimization is also marked with a tag called feature breaking be aware that this doesn't break your operating system in any way but if you choose to enable this optimization a certain function in windows will not work properly which in this case is windows game bar game bar is a feature in windows that records in the background which can decrease performance a lot so if you don't use game bar we recommend turning it off a lot next on the list we have enable home gaming mode and gaming optimizations these two go hand to hand with each other they're both marked as power hungry so be aware of that but both of these settings basically ensures that your system focuses all the resources on the game while you're playing. And on top of that, it gives you some graphical adjustments to ensure that you get the highest possible performance. Next on the list, we have Disable Windows Services. This optimization allows you to disable unnecessary Windows services to reduce your system's resource usage and potentially improving your system's performance. Then we have Disable Superfetch, also known as Sysmain. Superfetch is a Windows service that preloads frequently used applications into the memory to improve your system's responsiveness. However, in some cases, it may cause performance related issues so we recommend turning this optimization on next on the list for the nvidia users we have the general nvidia optimizations this optimization provides a collection of general optimizations for nvidia graphics cards however if you're an amd user you can simply find some other optimization that you would like to enable instead and after that we have the optimized nvidia control panel settings and i don't even think i need to explain this one this basically gives you the best settings within the NVIDIA control panel to improve your system's performance and graphical looks. And this should pretty much be it for the optimization tab. Now let's go back to the dashboard and see how much we've improved our system's score. And as we can see, we're now at 27.5% by enabling just a few optimizations. But obviously, as you guys also saw, there are plenty of optimizations within Hone. So if you'd like to get an even higher score, you can simply just 
enable more optimizations the more the better we also have a tab called the boost up tab and here you have plenty of options you have things such as cache cleaners junk cleaners system corruption fixes and much more this was basically the optimization guide for 5m by hone and again we're still playing with a graphics mod and we haven't adjusted a single setting within the actual game we've simply optimized our system by optimizing you can improve your system's fps performance and responsiveness so if you'd like to get more tutorials like these make sure to like subscribe and leave a comment and hopefully we'll see you another time